Let's learn some basics first. I am gonna do a position transition here. But my x and y values are mixed and it will be hard to do a graph. So I will simply separate these values, so I get both values separately. Now I have both x and y values. Let's animate the circle from left to right using x values. Select keyframes and right click on them, and then easy ease keyframes. You can press F9 also as a shortcut. Now to the graph. Let's make the graph look like this. As you can see animation ends even before we want. But if I do graph the other way, like the high side in the end. The animation will be perfect as we want. Make sure you enable motion blur, it is really important. See we have some motion blurriness here. But if I turn off motion blur, there will be no motion blurriness. Here is the concept of null objects. I will create a null object. We can attach the video with null using this spiral thing and connect it to null. So any change made to the null object will impact the video attached to it. But any change made to the video won't affect the null object. You can control multiple layers using a single null object. I hope you understood the basics and now let's move to clips. Let's make the position transition. The first step, separate the dimensions. Make sure to enable motion blur. Easy ease keyframes using F9. Now move to graph. Let's make fast to slow graph first and see what we get. The video ends before the other video starts leaving empty frames. So let's do the other graph now. Perfect. Now make keyframes for other clip. If the first clip was going to the right, second should appear from left. If you are confused, here is how it works. The first clip goes to the right and the second is coming from the right, making no transition. But on the other hand, the first is going right and the second is coming from left to right moving in motion and similar. So back to the video, now just easy ease keyframes and do fast to slow graph. The transition part is done. But we have these black areas. To solve this, search motion tile and add it to the video. Change output height and width and enable mirror edges. Copy effect using Ctrl plus C and paste on other layer using Ctrl plus V. And you did it. I have some black bars in my main clip. If I had a motion tile, it won't look good at all. See I have some weird lines. So here is the solution. Just zoom the clip and pre-compose the layers, and then apply the motion tile. Press S to bring scale properties. Make the clip small. Now easy ease keyframes. Make a slow to fast graph and then add a motion tile. Now let's learn the concept of scale transition. I have two circles and I will add zoom in one circle and zoom out other. It doesn't look appealing. Let's zoom in both circles and see what we get. This looks way better. So this means we need to zoom out both clips to make the transition better. 
The first clip was scaling out so the second clip will also scale out. But from high to low values. Once done easy ease and make a fast to slow graph. It's almost done, but you can make a new adjustment layer and add warp to it. Copy my settings. Make keyframes like I am doing. Easy ease and do the graph. It looks better now. This is the most used transition in AMB edits. Press R to see the rotation. I am gonna make keyframe 90. Then easy ease and graph. As the first clip has 0 to 90. This clip should go from minus 90 to 0 to stay in motion and keep the transition. Then easy ease and graph. If you want, you can add scales with rotation to make it look better. There are the same scales I taught early, so I am gonna speed this up. And you learned this too. I am gonna use null objects now, as my video layers already have keep frames and I want to add more keyframes. But if I don't use a null object it will make the clip so linear, and null can help you keep the movement running throughout. I don't know if I explained well, but please do practice after this tutorial, so you understand more. As you can see there was movement throughout the transition. I am gonna do the same with the other clip. And that was it. Now you can create an epic video and if you want tag me, I would be so happy to see your edits. If you have any doubts, feel free to join my discord server or comment your questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.